In this video, I'm going to teach you how to double your push-ups. A great way to increase your push-ups is by doing down workouts. I first heard about this concept from Alex Leonidas and downward workouts are pretty much where you start with a certain amount of reps. So let's say the first set is 20 reps and then you rest 30 to 60 seconds and then the next set will be 19 reps and then the next set will be 18 and then so on you work your way down to one rep. So you pretty much can do this with any bodyweight exercise, pull-ups, push-ups and anything in between. Since these workouts consist of really high repetitions, they'll help you increase your resistance to the burn that you feel when you do very high reps in your workouts. Now, what if you're a beginner and you can't do that many reps to begin with? If you're a beginner, the best way to increase your push-ups is to just do more push-ups. Because when you're a beginner and you've started doing push-ups, you're likely not going to be very good at them. Your body won't be able to perform them very efficiently. But as you keep doing them over and over again, your body will be able to recruit the right muscles more efficiently and you'll be able to do more reps because of the increased neurological adaptation. So going from 10 to 20 reps shouldn't be too hard. You might also find yourself getting pretty sore in the beginning, but after a while, you'll actually get used to it. Now, once you get to the 20 to 25 push-up mark, the best way to increase your push-ups then is to get much stronger, bigger, or bigger. If you see a guy who can bench press over 300 pounds, or a guy who can wrap out 100 kg weighted dips, or a guy who's insane at planche movements, or a guy who's really big and muscular, chances are these guys can do a lot of push-ups even though they don't specifically train for push-up endurance. Now, if you only train for endurance, chances are you won't really gain much strength or muscle. But if you do it the other way around, if you focus on strength, hypertrophy, etc. first, then you'll build a good foundation on top of which you can start training for endurance, which will get your push-ups to a pretty high level. So just get really strong at pushing movements like overhead press, bench press, weighted dips, or crazy push-up variations like one-arm push-ups, handstand push-ups, planche push-ups, and yeah, after that, you can focus on your endurance. Once you get really strong with those movements, push-ups won't even be worthy of being a warm-up to you. And even if you're only focusing on hypertrophy, you're still gonna track your strength, right? So eventually, your push-ups will increase. After you've built up a good base of strength, a good way of improving your neurological adaptation is doing greasing the groove. This is really good for increasing your reps with bodyweight exercises and even static skills. Greasing the groove for push-ups is pretty much where you do multiple sets spread across the day, around three to even eight sets a day, depending on how much you want to do. And in each set, you warm up first and then you only do around 50 to 70% of your total reps. So if you can do 10 reps, just do five to seven reps and don't go to failure. Then you rest a few hours, do another set, rest a few hours, do another set and so on. And you do, do this a few times a week. And eventually you will develop a lot more neurological adaptation. Your body will become more efficient at doing push-ups because you're doing them so frequently across the day. And the disadvantage of this is that it again, you have to warm up every single time you go for a set so you'll potentially be warming up five to ten times a day another big disadvantage is that it's really time consuming so if you're on a strict schedule if you're in school or work all day then yeah it's not really going to be very efficient for you to just do push-ups and pull-ups all the time after you've built up a good base of strength i would recommend doing down workouts to improve your resistance to that burn because at that point, when you build a lot of strength, your strength won't actually be the limiting factor in getting a high amount of reps, but it'll actually be your endurance. So in conclusion, these techniques are good for people who can do between zero to 30 push-ups. If you can already do like 50, 60 push-ups, then you, you might have to implement different techniques to double your push-ups because at that point, doubling your push-ups is a pretty huge task. I mean going from 50 to 100 is a pretty big jump much bigger than going from 25 to 50. that's pretty much it for this video so hit that subscribe button if you found value see ya